February 29th was a very interesting day. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth came out to critical acclaim for both the critics and the gamers alike, saying that the combat improved, more side content to do, the visuals and the music being spectacular, and that it was a major improvement over Remake that came out in 2020. But, if you are Dark Side Phil, you're immediately going to look at a game that everyone else has already been anticipating and hope that it would save the channel. Needless to say, it did not do any of that, only garnishing about $78 for both his streams combined, and he just sat there on his daily rap, coping, seething, balding about how it's everyone else's fault but his own for the reason why he didn't get that much support. But yet, we're going to continue that with the level one Copecast. I mean, podcast. I mean, shit. actually feel like this is going to be really good a really good playthrough right but attendance is great engagement is met and here's what i'll say met engagement is met because people didn't give me money for this some people are there and they're excited and they're like wow it's a new game and others i hate to say it you you'll notice them every day now they come in here and they're here literally just to crap on people okay or cra or crap on the game or crap on bolt they say everything is bad it doesn't matter what game i'm playing it doesn't matter what I'm doing. They always say, this is boring, this is bad. They're here on purpose. So immediately you're going to say that it's just a big, massive troll element. That they're just going to come on in and just say that everything sucks, the game sucks, everything sucks, but not you. You're going to just say that everything sucks, but you. When in reality, Phil, the only thing that sucks in the entirety of the streams is you. By the way you play the game, by the way you interact with your audience, and this is the way that you're constantly basing everything around money. It's constantly going to be a vicious cycle with you because you're hoping that people would give you money, but in reality, it's not going to happen. You know, these aren't regular viewers. These aren't fans. These are people who, who don't like me. And so they come in here under the guise of, oh, I'm just a new viewer, a common viewer. And then you say, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. How do you know that most of these people are just detractors or trolls, Phil? How do you know about anything of these viewers? Are you constantly going through and checking all the channels to say, okay, this is a sock account, this is a sock account, this is a regular viewer, this is a regular viewer. You're not doing any of that. You're just basing around the assumption that it's going to be a troll element with you because you're that paranoid about your streams or just paranoid about how anybody to just come on in, just say something negative and that you just point at the trolls but it's never your fault right they do it on purpose they're trying to bring down the level of the stream so that people now will see people around them. oh why are people so annoyed and bored oh i don't you know this is kind of a toxic atmosphere it's done on purpose how do you know it's done on purpose phil there are people that probably saw this you were playing final fantasy 7 rebirth saw that you were playing it and they decided to check it out but decided that it was boring not because of the game itself but because of you but you like to put in these generalizations that oh all these comments that people are leaving me it's bringing my stream down when in reality it's only bringing you down okay so i i try to be nice i try not to take action as soon as i see it you know you want to see if it's something legit or not but you notice a pattern, and definitely yesterday, it was a huge pattern. There was a bunch of new people in the chat trying to bring down the stream. Okay, they're trying to bring down the streams and that you're generally a nice guy and don't do anything? Huh. Press the X to doubt with that. Because if someone says something in your chat, you immediately look at it, get upset, yell at that viewer while banning them, telling them not to come back. A nice guy doesn't yell at somebody and demand mailing addresses to send spoons out to eat your ass. No one does this. But you do, though, because you think that you're the big man. You're the streamer. You can do whatever you want in your streams. But you don't want to face the repercussions. And once you do, you're going to blame the detractors and just blame any other factor that's not you. And I'm not going to have it at this point. Like, if you don't like Final Fantasy VII, I get it. If you're just sitting in the stream dumping on the game saying, it's boring, I hate this, you're just, you're gone. Okay, so you just contradicted yourself with that statement alone, saying that if you don't like the game, that's fine. But if you're going to shit on the game and not like it, then you're out of here. That's just a big contradiction, Phil. My fucking God, do you even think before you speak? There's no point in being here. You're gone. I'm going to kick you out. You know, people want to hang out and have a good time with the new game. They don't want to hear people say, uh, I, don't, I don't want this. Could you play Baldur's Gate 3? Could you play another game? Could you play Helldivers? Who's playing Helldivers? Before he goes on about the Helldivers talk, nobody in this chat was saying, can you play Baldur's Gate 3? Can you play Helldivers? Can you play this, 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 and this? No one said that in this chat. He's just making up more delusions to actually make himself look bad or look like the victim. But he automatically makes himself look bad by doing this in the first place. Never was that ever in my radar, nor is it a game that I'm going to play. I'm not interested. 
reinstate it. I'm not considering it. You sitting here saying play another game like Helldivers, you're an idiot. How are they an idiot, Phil? If these people actually existed, how are they idiots for telling you or just suggesting to play something? They're not being an idiot, Phil. They're just giving the suggestions that, oh, hey, give me feedback. Give me games that you want to see me play. You're really wasting your own time and everyone's time. You stop and move on and go watch someone else play Helldivers, right? We're here to have a good time with the game that I'm playing, and it's a good game. So it's a good game, but the way that you're going to pretend that you like the game, it really shows a lot. If you're not making any money, you'll just feign interest in the game. Let's stop with the nonsense, right? Um... <clears throat> So, FYI, I noticed that yesterday, and it was bringing down the vibe of the stream a bit, okay? For who, exactly? Did it bring down the vibes of anyone in your chat? No? Just you? Gotcha. And there were some other idiots who basically were doing something like this. Oh, you know, Phil's fan was so nice to buy him that wig. I wish he would just toss it on right now. I wish that he would do it for a lower amount. I wish that he would do this or that, you know? And it's like, this, the whole idea... Of putting on a hat or a wig or something it's always been part of my streams for how many years now since 2020 yeah and you use this as a big fucking gimmick because you wanted to be the anti-twitch whore to put on clothing instead of taking them off you're trying to like stick it to everyone else on twitch that actually got more money more popularity for the ways that they do things but in all actuality with this film when people are telling you, hey, why don't you just put it on? If you're excited for something, you just do it out of, oh, I don't know, because you want to. Because there's no strings attached. There's nothing out there that can say, I need money to put this on. You can just put it on right then and there and be like, hey, guys, I'm excited for this game. Let's go. Sure, you look like an idiot for it. But if you truly had a passion for streaming, truly had a passion for gaming and not money, then you can just do this. But no, everything has to have a price to it. And especially this quote-unquote fan, I think his name is Jeff Bezos, look it up, apparently wants to be, you need to put this on if you make money. Who really says this shit? And who really does this? Oh, right, greedy little YouTube whores like Phil. Four years, all right? You know how it works. You know that there's tears. You know that there's things it's involved. It's a silly thing for incentive for people to support a stream. For me to do something silly like this, right? That's a very stupid incentive, though. People have been saying this for years. I've seen a lot of people that have, like, tips or tier goals, but it's not made for money, though. I've seen it on charity streams where they have, like, if you raise a certain amount of money, but it's not every day, though. If you reach a certain amount of money through a charity, they'll do something as a silly incentive for people, and that actually works. But the way that you're doing it, though, it doesn't work out. Instead, it just makes you look desperate for money, and this right there really makes you desperate for money. And by the way, YouTube loves picking a thumbnail of me holding this. Both videos yesterday that I put out with me holding the wig, this became the thumbnail. Uh, Phil, you can always go into the edit section of YouTube Studio and change the thumbnail. But no, you just upload it, thought it was done, left it. You didn't even bother changing the fucking thumbnail. So it's probably gonna do it again, okay? But anyway, like this is nothing new. This is a common practice of any streamer to have goals and stuff, incentives, rewards. No, there's not really any of that on there at all. If it is, it's a charity stream. I've never once seen a streamer do this shit. Unless you're looking at maybe the, twi the titty streamers out there. Different story. But not every single streamer is going to have a money-based incentive for you to do something. Again, you like to look at other streamers, copy their homework, but make it look worse. And you fail the class every single time. On their streams, everyone's okay with it. In fact, everyone was okay with it until yesterday. Because yesterday, people wanted to see me put on the silly wig. What didn't happen yesterday? A lot of support. The streams were slow. The first stream, we barely hit the tier 1 tip skull. The second stream, we didn't. We only made like 20 bucks, right? And everything else too, like some super chats, membership. I think we had three memberships all day. And Super Chats were just okay, but not great. It was like for a premiere of a, a new game, it was ridiculously slow. Like, huh, I wonder why it's all ridiculously slow, Phil. Maybe people are catching on that, hey, maybe you're just a general asshole to everybody, and why should we give you support for it? That's what they're seeing with it, though. Or another thing, which is they're playing the game for themselves, and they don't want to be spoiled, so they're just going to do their own thing and maybe come back when they've gotten to a certain point. But you just want to keep going on and on and on about how it's the audience's fault for not giving you money so you can look like an idiot wearing that stupid little wig. We never have a premiere of a new game that's that slow, all right? So you got to wonder what happened. And I think, 
I, you know, I have a few theories that I think are pretty, pretty valid. I think number one, there's just too many RPGs right now. No, that's really not the whole thing. This whole theory that you had there's too many RPGs is completely disproven due to the fact that you could pick whatever you want to play. And again, going back to other streamers, they're going to focus on one game, be done with it, then they can move on because they actually know how to prioritize how to play the game and how to actually, oh, I don't know, entertain people. Something that you clearly don't know how to do. I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3 for two and a half months. I was playing Sea of Stars and I put it on hiatus just to start playing Like a Dragon Infinite Well. Yeah, you put that straight into the band world because you focused on the AAA releases. That's another problem that you have. You focus mainly on AAA releases and nothing else. But if someone recommends an indie game to you, you completely tell them that they're idiots, disregard it, and just move on to the AAA releases, and then you wonder why support is slow. Right? How many RPGs can possibly, possibly be supported at once? It's, it's RPG overload, and by the way, I skipped a bunch. I skipped Persona 3. I skipped Grand Blue Fantasy. It's ridiculous. You only skipped Persona 3 Reload because you have a fucking vendetta over Atlas for giving you copyright claims slash strikes on your Persona 5 playthrough. That's why you didn't want to play Persona 3 Reload. And also, for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, the only reason why you didn't play that game is because that has no interest to you. Because it's another generic anime RPG. Another generic RPG. Coming from the guy that proclaims that he is a big RPG fan, he loves RPGs, clearly doesn't really like RPGs. Now, if you're an ultra fan of RPGs, that's one thing, but I'm a variety streamer. People like coming by DSP Gaming to see what Phil's up to today. Not really, though. Some people want to see how salty you'll get playing Tekken 8 or just any fighting game or online game. Or just seeing how bad of support that you're going to get and how you're going to cope with it the very next day. Is he playing an RPG or is he playing an action game or is he playing a fighting game or is he doing something random? They like that. That element is good and it's good because we bring in a variety of people to these streams. I say we because I feel like it's us together. No, it's nobody doing this film. And you want to say that constantly over and over and over that you're a variety streamer. What variety have you provided? You're not playing all different types of games. You're only going for what is popular. In this case, you're doing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You did Baldur's Gate 3 and you're going to bring that back because you can get enough support for Final Fantasy. You're only playing Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth because you delude yourself into believing that you're a Like a Dragon slash Yakuza fan. You're playing Tekken 8 because, again, anticipated fighting game supposedly to come out in 2024. That's the only reason why you're playing that. And many other games that you play, there's not really much variety to give out of it. And what? You're going to say that you're a variety streamer because you play the same games over and over and over and over again until you beat it and you don't know what the fuck to do? It's not the royal we. It's us together. It's a community effort, right? No, it, you're using the we as me mentality. Please stop. Right? It really is. It's not just me doing this. It's me and all of you guys hanging out, having a good time together. That's what success really is. No, it's not. Let delude yourself by saying that and drink your water. So quite frankly, I do feel like we are RPG'd out. And that's a shame because... No, Phil, you're RPG'd out because every single time you're going to play a new RPG, you get bored with it really fast. And then you're going to complain that your audience doesn't like it. Or it's the game developer's fault. Or other streamers' fault. Or detractors' fault. You'll blame everyone else but yourself for the reason why you're failing. And yet you want to call all this successful. Because number one, these RPGs are all lengthy and I'm not done with them yet. I can't just drop them or skip them because then everyone will complain that I've missed out on the biggest releases, right? That's number one. But then again, though, Phil, you always will skip out on it. And then when you eventually play them, you get a good amount of support, air quote support at the very beginning. And then when that dwindles, you're going to blame the audience for why is it that my support is when I thought y'all wanted this. And most of those people that wanted it in the past, they dip out. They don't want to invest in you anymore. But yet you want to keep, again, blaming everyone else but yourself for the reason why you're a failure. Number two, there's more coming. I know. And I'll, I'm going to be honest. Right now, as a result of this whole feeling of like RPG burnout, because there's just too many RPGs at once, I'm strongly considering skipping Dragon's Dogma 2.
I thought you were actually wanting to play that because that's what your wife wanted to play. And now all of a sudden, you don't want to play that anymore. Name all these RPGs that are coming out within 2024. You can't do that. The only ones that you could think of is Dragon's Dogma 2, just because that's what your wife wants to play. And I know that's sad because I like Dragon's Dogma 1. I actually, I was a champion for the game when a lot of people actually didn't like it as much. I thought Dragon's Dogma 1 was amazing. Not really. The way you play games back in the day to now, it's still the same. You don't like it, but you'll pretend that you like it. I played the crap out of it. And, you know, Dragon's Dogma 2 is right around the corner in three weeks. And now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't play it. Or maybe we should save it for later at a time when finally RPGs have calmed down. How am I going to be playing four RPGs at once, man? Just play them one at a fucking time, then play the other ones when you're ready. It's not that fucking hard. If you really copy the homework of other streamers, they always play one game at a time. Then they move on to another one. But you don't do that. Instead, you want to say that you're better than everyone else because you're the quote-unquote interactive variety streamer that knows what people want, but you can't cater to it because every single time that people tell you, hey, play this, you tell them to shut the fuck up, call them morons, and say that they're demanding shit out of you. It's, it's, the industry has to start looking at itself instead of only li living in like a tunnel. Because that's what I feel like all these games are doing. These game developers are making a game and they live in a tunnel where they think their game is the only game being made. And it's not. You know, how many games they, they these game developers just convinced themselves they were making the absolute best game out there and it was going to sell no matter what? Well, Phil, a lot of people that will make games, they have a passion for it, and they actually want to believe themselves that the game they're going to put out is good. That it's good enough for the people to buy. But yet, you want to keep saying this whole thing about how game developers need to actually focus on, like, separating when they release them instead of just putting it all in the same month. Believing this conspiracy that you tend to do. You don't know how game development works. You don't know how marketing works. You don't know how the industry works. But yet, you want to proclaim that you know how everything works when your pea brain gen mind doesn't know how it works. And then they come out and it's like, RPG, 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 what the hell? Hey Phil, there are other genres out there besides RPG. There's also fighting games. There's also indie games that have different genres within the indie department. There's a lot of games that you could play, but you don't want to because in your words, they don't interest you. There's too many. They're too long, too many, too similar, right? How many can you stand? I like RPGs, and I'm- No, you don't. If you're complaining about RPGs, it's clear as day you don't like RPGs. I'm gonna be honest with you all. I'm getting burnt out on them now. Mm-hmm. The guy who loves RPGs doesn't like RPGs. But then again, you never did in the first place. And I- that- that's crazy for me. Because I'm the kind of guy that, like, usually I can- t I can play all these, but... This is, like, RPG overload, man. Like, you're, we're all gonna get tired of them. No, you are getting tired of them. Everyone else will not get tired of RPGs because each one plays differently and they have different mechanics to make it more fresh and interesting. You're just going to sit there saying that we're all burnt out of them when you're burnt out. It's clear as day. Look at Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. You're about to pass the fuck out. That's the worst thing that could happen is you don't want to play any more of something you like because you're so tired. It would be like if every day... You're eating a new burger. Oh my fucking god, not another food analogy, please no. You ate... Uh, you know, a Five Guys burger. Tomorrow you ate an In-N-Out burger. Then you ate a Burger King burger. Then you ate a McDonald's burger. Then you ate a The Habit burger. Then you ate a Red Robin burger. Even though they're all different kinds of burgers, eventually you're gonna get tired of burgers. Like all analogies that Phil makes that involves food, it falls flat on its face. Just due to the fact that he's bringing up different chains for the same burger. But he's not explaining what the burger is, though. Like, imagine that you're going into a restaurant, like a Burger King, and you're getting their Whopper. It's going to be a burger, but it's done differently than, say, going to McDonald's and order a Quarter Pounder, or going to a Wendy's to get a Baconator, or an In-N-Out Burger to get their Deluxe Burger. It's always going to be done differently, because every single company has a different way of preparing it. Just like how different companies have a different way to prepare their games, that way, it has a unique feel and experience rather than the same old shit that you see everywhere else. You want something else. You can't just keep doing the same thing every day. You're fucking tired of that shit. And that's what I feel like. It's it's getting ridiculous now with these RPGs. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honest think, honestly thinking that we need to start moving on from this and do variety stuff. 
uh, Phil, didn't you just proclaim that you are a variety streamer, that everyone loves you for your variety? But as soon as you kept using the same variety over and over and over, people are getting tired of it. A lot of people don't want you to keep doing the same shit over and over and over. They give you suggestions. You hate those suggestions. So you're pushing out the same shit over and over and over on your streams, and you're calling yourself successful, where in reality, you're pushing people away. You always do that, not just by how you play, but how your attitude shifts when something doesn't go your way. The question is what? The good news is later this month, there is variety. We've got the Star Wars Battlefront collection coming out around the middle of March. That's completely different. Mm, how is that completely different, Phil? It's just taking Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, the originals, and they're just upscaling it and re-releasing it. And it's a classic tried and true series that was super duper good back in the day. And you never played it. The only one that you truly played was, oh, I don't know, the EA ones. Even if I only play it for random multiplayer, I think it's still going to be fun for variety purposes. And then you've got Rise of the Ronin, which feels to me like it's going to be something refreshing and different. Oh my god, are you going to say that to every single game that comes out, that it's going to be refreshing and different when in reality, once you play it, the game's going to kick your ass and you're going to say the game sucks? It's coming. It's combat, it's stealth, it's ninja style. When I say ninja style, it's actually a samurai style stuff, right? It's going to be fun. Uh, Phil, there was a game that came out, oh, I don't know, a few years ago called Ghost of Tsushima. That game was really good. Rise of the Ronin is made by the people that made Neo. But again, you just want to say that everything is fresh and different and unique when in reality, it's just going to be the same in your eyes because you're going to say it sucks in the end. I feel something different to break all this up and not just be an RPG. So we've got variety coming. And what I really need to do is I do need to sit down, um... And I need to look at everything else coming out in the schedule. Oh, God damn it. Your schedule. I need to find out what's good in the schedule. Take things out that I don't want to play or never had interest in. And just put things that people might be interested in, but they're really not. Fuck you and your schedule. Um, Because I haven't done that in a long time. And I think that we're going to do that likely around the same time that we do my birthday event in early April, so about- Oh, fuck you and your birthday event, where people have one day to celebrate their birthday or might do a stream of it, you want to make it a full week event, which is an event that I don't want to be a part of the RSVP. One month from now, we're going to probably sit down and do a birthday marathon, and we'll probably go through the entire schedule of games coming out and pick out the ones that I'm interested in and you're interested in. Imagine you go into someone's stream. It is their birthday and you're going in there to wish them a happy birthday. And the first thing that they tell you is like, oh, hey, you need to help decide what I should do for my content. Oh, no, no, no. I know it's my birthday and all. Please leave your tip at the fucking jar. But please tell me what you need for me to do. Tell me what games I need to play. Let's go over the scheduling and all the accounts that I have going on. Come join in on the stockholders meeting. That just doesn't sound enjoyable. You're just essentially making them do all the work for you. But every single time they give you a suggestion, you completely crumple it up and just throw it away and tell them to get the fuck out. Uh, and that'll give us a better idea of the landscape of what we'll be doing for the next several months. Okay? But... Yeah, like right now, I, I actually am starting to really significantly think that Dragon's Dogma 2 is a bad idea. Well, it's always going to be a bad idea for you because it's an RPG or it's a game that I proclaimed that I really liked but I never did just so I can for like fool the people and just believe that I'm a good gamer when in reality, you're not. That the timing is just not right. It's too much already in the RPG landscape and another one on top. Even though Dragon's Dogma 2 is very different. It's action-based. It's a lot of climbing on enemies and hitting weak points in an action-based environment similar to, say, like, you ever seen Shadow of the Colossus? Oh, my God, Phil. Oh, my fucking God. Why are you relating to a game that you didn't care for? So think of that just on a much smaller scale. You know, there's big monsters, but you climb them, and you're hitting them in weak points with magic and attacks. It's neat. Like, I really liked Dragon's Dogma 1. Hmm, you know what game kind of sounds like that, Phil? It's not Shadows of the Colossus. It sounds a lot like... <gasps> Monster Hunter! Yeah, it's exactly like that, Phil. But no, you wanted to relate to Shadow of the Colossus for some reason. Again, RPG, leveling, party members, fantasy. It's like, oh my god. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, oh my god, I love RPGs. But all this shit in RPG, I can't do it, guys. I'm burnt out. I know that Rise of the Ronin is listed as an action RPG, but I'm telling you, if you look at it, it doesn't 
nearly look like like what you're thinking is an action rpg like they say that dark souls is an action rpg do you which it is phil it involves you leveling up your fucking stats it's still considered an rpg just like how rise of the ronin is considered to be an action rpg you really think dark souls is an rpg in the vein of what we're playing right now it is, Phil. There are different types of RPGs out there. There's computer RPGs, Baldur's Gate 3 or Disco Elysium. There's action RPGs, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. There's also tactic RPGs or strategy RPGs, Valkyria Chronicles, Final Fantasy Tactics. There's also the turn-based RPGs, like the original Final Fantasies and Persona series and the Pokemon series. My fucking god, Phil. Do you not understand that a genre can have subgenres? Of course not. You see, it's different. So, anyway. Yeah, that take is very fucking pathetic, and you should just end yourself for that one. In Minecraft, of course. That's that's what I'm talking about here. Like, I think we might have to. But now, I guess we'll talk about that, all right? Um, over the course of this month. We still have three weeks to figure this out, okay? But, to, yesterday was the big premiere day for Final Fantasy VII, and... The support was really slow for a new release. Well, then again, though, Phil, everyone else is playing it and enjoying it for themselves instead of watching your gouty ass. And it's like, if that was day one of this game, is this going to be representative of how it's going to be every day when I play this game now? And if that's the case, that's not good. That's not good for you. Because you're so based around greed when it comes to creating content. While everyone else that does this and stream it, they are actually playing the game because they really enjoy the game. And they want to share their enjoyment with their audience. Because they have a better passion for it than you do. You know, I've already explained to you guys, I'm hurting bad right now. Financially, I took a big hit. And now what's going to happen is around the third week of this month when I get paid by YouTube, my pay is going to be way lower than what I usually make. Yeah, and it's all the Argentinian membership's fault, supposedly. Hashtag justice for Argentina. And it's because all my memberships went away. Like, no exaggeration, it's a ton of lost revenue. And other things as well that factored in because in the month of February, there were no real new releases. You know, Tekken 8, Like a Dragon, they're good games, but they didn't... But they came out in January. ...catch on. And because of that, it sta everything kind of stagnated in February. And yeah, your content stagnated, not the games. That's Listen, I'm not complaining. I still had a great time in February. I think we all did. No one really did, Phil. Even you tried to bring your wife on to do the fucking co-op gameplay with Dondoko Island. That didn't work out for you because a lot of people didn't like seeing the content. But as soon as Kat left, the reel you showed... And you're saying that, oh yeah, we're done with co-op games until we find someone that we can play. But don't recommend It Takes Two or Overcooked or else you're fucked. We're looking for new stuff now, right? We need, we want people to come in and check out the new stuff. And there has to be new stuff. That's not just another RPG that feels the same -y thing again. You know what I mean? Again, this guy proclaims that he loves JRPGs or just RPGs in general, but he really doesn't. So right now, this is the worst possible time for me to have low support on a brand new release and it happened it's like well nothing i can do about it now yeah nothing i could do about it now and you just look at your chat hoping that people give you money and that you're gonna find someone to ban you know so here's the deal all right you know Baldur's gate 3 we're in act 3 we act yeah we're in act 3 because you people gave me money and you held my hand all the way through dense play Baldur's gate 3 actually started act 3 we're about 10 hours into it now and we're in Baldur's Gate, we're unlocking quests, we're doing all this stuff, and every time I play Baldur's Gate, we've gotten great support. Yeah, because that's what you force your audience to do, and if they didn't give you support, then oh my god, the game sucks in your opinion. Then again, Phil, why didn't you finish Baldur's Gate 3 before you started this one? <laughs> if you would have done that, this all would have never happened. But no, this is Dark Side Phil, where he wants to put it on the game, he wants to put it on the audience, he wants to put it on the detractors, but never on him. Right? It, it cannot be denied. Even though... Definitely, the viewership on the Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough has di dripped dramatically. Yeah, because, again, though, Phil, you're playing the same thing over and over. It's very fucking boring. You know, when I started with Baldur's Gate 3, we were getting thousands of people. Now no, 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 no. In the beginning, you only got that thousand because of viewbots. You can get that point straight across right away. Now, you could barely get 300 on a video, right? But it's because it's a 102-part playthrough and continuing. So, again, though, Phil, you chose to play it after it won Game of the Year, and you wanted to prove everyone wrong by saying, I really enjoy this game, but you never bought the game. Someone gave it to you because I don't know what dumbass decided that was a good idea. The thing is, though, I'm getting support for it. And 
what we might have to do. My original plan was that I wanted to play the living heck out of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, that was your plan. But then you saw that it didn't give you a lot of support, and you wanted to blame the game for it, not you. Because I wanted to get as far as I could in the game before new games came out. Before Rise of the Ronin and before Dragon's Dogma 2. And that's not going to happen, though, Phil, because you're complaining that the games are way too long. And I just cannot wait for Costa del Sol, and you're going to complain about the tits. But if we're seriously considering skipping, say, Dragon's Dogma 2, then maybe it's not that big of a deal. And I don't need to rush Final Fantasy VII as much. My God, the way that Phil is just talking about this, his leg is just bouncing up and down because he's so nervous about not taking money from his dents again. Right? If that's the case. So really, if that is the case, um... My fucking God, Phil. Just quit blowing your fucking nose into the fucking mic. And yet you think that that pop filter is gonna do something for you! I should split it. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I should split it and we should be more evenly balanced and alternate streams. One stream Final Fantasy VII, one stream Baldur's Gate 3, one stream... Isn't that what you're already doing with all the other games that you're playing, Phil? Again, you're gonna say split one for Baldur's Gate 3, one for Final Fantasy VII? Like, my fucking god, Phil. This is why you're failing. You're putting a lot of your eggs into one basket. Final Fantasy VII, one stream Baldur's Gate 3. Because right now, like this week, I was gonna play 17 hours of Final Fantasy VII. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe what I should do is... Do an extra stream of Baldur's Gate 3 this week. Hey, Phil, you know when people are saying, hey, shorten the podcast to actually play the game? This is why. And then just go back and forth between the two. You know what I mean? Yeah, go back and forth between the two because I love money. Now I'm just going to take a sip of my fucking water. Hmm, tastes like gray whale gin. Hmm, yummy. So let's see what happens. All right, Here, here's the deal. I'm not changing the schedule right now uh, over the weekend. Today, Saturday, and Sunday are going to remain the same no matter what. Yeah, they're going to remain the same because changing the schedule takes a lot of time and effort out of you. Out of your busy little life. The first day that we'll consider changing the schedule will be Monday. So let's let's now get into this segment of the stream. where I Yeah, let's not get into the segment of the stream. Let's just move on to something else, please. Let's move on to the next act. Here's the day where things are up in the air. Monday's daytime stream was again going to be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but maybe instead I should do Baldur's Gate 3 on Monday. Monday night, I'm not streaming no matter what. Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were going to change the schedule on Monday and you were going to do something else. Like, Phil, what the fuck? You just flip-flopped here. I have to work on some personal stuff, so no stream- Personal stuff, divorce lawyer, I don't know, DoorDash, Patreon stuff. There's a lot of things that you'll do. On Monday night at all. Uh, Tuesday will be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Tekken, and then Wednesday will be Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon. So maybe that's what I should do, is have, instead of all these Rebirth streams, on Monday do Baldur's Gate 3 instead as the one stream that I do for the day. Because he really needs that money, guys. He really, really does. He needs that money. Cue my bill. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. That money, really, that money, that money. <clears throat> Moving forward, next week, basically alternate. We'll have one day Final Fantasy, one day Baldur's Gate. One day Final Fantasy, one day Baldur's Gate. And going back and forth, that way it's not too much overload, right? Well, Phil, oh, God damn it, the fucking blowing into the fucking mic. Stop that. But no, Phil, you're just creating more of an overload, and I thought you were RPG'd out. Like, my fucking god, Phil. You say one thing, and you do something completely different the next. Of any of those games. Either of those games, I should say. Alright? So, let me know what you think about that, but I think that might be the way to go moving forward, is to alternate between the two to avoid burnout. You're burning yourself out like you're proclaiming that you are by playing another RPG on top of another RPG. Phil, do you not understand... That when you change the schedule or you do shit like this, it just completely contradicts what you're saying in the first fucking place. And again, that's the thing, is if I'm not really gung-ho for playing Dragon's Dogma 2 at launch anyway, then it doesn't matter if we don't rush through Final Fantasy VII this month, right? If we go at a slower pace, that's okay then, right? No, it's not. Again, a lot of other streamers actually focus on one game and then they finish it. They can move on to the next one. Why do you think that they can get through games a lot faster than you can? 
oh, right, it's just because that you think going through every single side content, rushing through the game's side content as well, and try to rush through the game as slowly as you possibly could, then maybe it could work out for you, but it's not going to work out for you at all. And yet you complain about how all these games are coming out on these days and you can't play them because you're so goddamn slow. And also, let's be honest, if I'm playing Baldur's Gate 3 and alternating with Final Fantasy, and if the Baldur's Gate 3 streams continue to get the level of support that they've gotten, right, it takes pressure off of me to have to worry about, oh no, because I'm playing so much Final Fantasy 7, now, you know, my income's gonna take a hit this month or something like that. Phil, you've been complaining that your income has been drastically low and been dipped just because of the memberships alone. Now, all of a sudden, you're thinking that, oh yeah, if I do all this, then I don't have to worry about my income. But you're still going to worry about your income because, again, all this that you're doing, all of this right here, based around money. Oh, and it's the last thing that should be on my mind. I should just be entertaining myself and the audience and not having to worry about that, but it's, it's a major concern. I wish it wasn't, but it is. No, Phil, you don't even entertain your audience at all. You don't even interact with them unless they give you a super chat, a tip, or you want to ban somebody. That's the only time you ever interact with them. This whole thing with the memberships completely screwed me over this year so far. You know, it's an ongoing problem. It's an ongoing problem that you keep bringing up every single time to make you look like the victim. If you would have stopped talking about it, maybe, just maybe, this wouldn't happen. But again, the fuck you fill emporium is open for business and everyone has a copy of the key. Perfect example. So this morning, I got a bunch of tips I'm going to shout out. Have not had a single super chat. Have not had a single membership. Not a single re-upping of a membership. Yeah, because you kept telling people, hey, this is the reason why, because the Argentinian memberships, and again, ways to fuck with you. So you see, and this has been a running pattern for two months now, where ever since the fake membership started, it's like the YouTube con side contributions are very, very diminished. Uh-huh, and again, it's your fault. No one else's. And that's horrible. Like, that's something that I, that I it's part of my business, it's dependent, and it's gone. For some reason, it's just like vanished. But people are still supporting, it's just a lot of tips, but what happened? Yeah, what happened? It truly can't be because of me telling people about the Argentinian memberships, hashtag Justice for Argentina, and you know, it couldn't be me. You know, I think a lot of people are just sitting around thinking, I'm just going to get a free membership eventually, so I'm just never going to buy one, right? And then same thing, I don't know what happened to Super Chats. <laughs> Glob, glob, glob. Roy Barnes, where are you? I take a sip for you. Glob, glob, yum. <clears throat> ah! I hope this month things turn around. It might be simply put, this month, like I said, in, in February, I was playing the same games all month. Yeah, and you call that variety when it really isn't variety. So a lot of people uh, weren't into it, and now they'll be coming back for new games in March. I don't know. You don't know because the future is very unpredictable, but yet you think that if you play this game, you'll be set that it'll save the channel, but it's not going to save the channel at all. You know, I don't know, but hopefully things do turn around this month because this is very bad right now and I'm nervous, you know? Yeah, I'm so nervous, guys. I'm looking at my corner demons. My leg can't stop bouncing up and down. Please stop. Oh, and I don't like being nervous. I don't like talking about being nervous. I just want to play games and enjoy stuff with you guys. No, no, no. It's not the fact that you're nervous about entertaining an audience. It's the fact that you're so fucking nervous that, oh, people aren't contributing to my lazy business. I mean, my successful business. I have to go get a real job. I don't want that, guys. Oh, no. Please tip me. It's not something that I did. I didn't change my content and ruin it, and it sucks now. No, Phil, your content already sucks from the very get-go. <laughs> Stop deluding yourself into believing that you didn't do anything wrong. And I didn't say something awful that pissed everyone on the internet off. Mm, King B. Cruel says hi! This is literally a bunch of fucking trolls found a loophole in YouTube to screw my business over. No, it's not the trolls, Phil. You wanna know the reason why the trolls keeps fucking with you when it comes to memberships? It's because you don't know when to shut the fuck up. That's a literally 100% the root cause of the problem. It wasn't that I made a horrible change or I made a big mistake or Phil sucks, it's trolls. Hmm, Phil, it is all those things. The trolls giving you the memberships Again, it's not because of the trolls, and you say that there's a root to it. Yes, there's a root, and that root is you, and it needs to be uprooted. And that's bullshit. That now my business is affected by that. 
you know? What business? Do you have any merchandise? Oh, no, you don't have that because you blame the trolls for getting your merch store taken down when it's, again, your fault. And that your business isn't doing well when it comes to money. It's because, again, you, not the trolls. But you can keep deluding yourself to believing that you did everything right. You did nothing wrong when you really did everything wrong and nothing correct. It's, it, it, I hate when, he, oh, he'll be the, the doing, the maker of his own downfall. Well, no. Yes, you are. You are sowing the seeds of your own demise here, Phil. And you cannot see that. But instead, you want to put all of that onto someone else who in reality, it's not their fault. It's yours. How many times do I got to repeat this? Actually, no. It'll be people fucking with my income constantly behind the scenes that'll fuck me over. Now no, it's not people behind the scenes. Now you're saying it's behind the scenes. It's none of these people fucking with you. The only person that's fucking with you is yourself. Not anything that I did wrong. I didn't create YouTube's membership system. I didn't break it. Mm -mm. Don't blame this on YouTube. This is not YouTube's fault here. They're actually following everything to a T with their own systems. Again, you're putting the blame onto them when it's actually your fault. All right, I didn't find the loophole. They they did, you know. <clears throat> uh -huh. Sure. Whatever you want to say to keep yourself jerking yourself off at night. So that's what's going on right now. All right, I think what we'll do, let's leave the schedule as is for now. Let's do Final Fantasy VII and Tekken today, Final Fantasy VII and Like a Dragon Tomorrow, all react today on Sunday. Monday, let's see what happens. But I am thinking... Bringing Baldur's Gate 3 back on Monday makes sense. It only makes sense to you because you believe that that is your cash cow. Because people would give you money. Because you forced them to give you the money. You made them feel bad into making them give you money. Because if they don't do anything that you request, then you're just going to say the game sucks. And they're so gullible that they have to believe your every word with it. And then Tuesday, Final Fantasy 7 and Like a Dragon. And then Wednesday, Baldur's Gate 3 and... Uh, well, actually, Tuesday is, is Tekken. I'm just, I'm not going to stop reiterating the schedule because I'm keep screwing it up. Yeah, it's clear that you're drunk today. You just gave yourself a big old bottle of gin, drank halfway through, stumbled on in, and your schedule is completely mushmouth. If I keep doing that, okay? But... Jesus fucking Christ. Phil, did you not realize that your fucking mic has a mute button? And yet you say you can't mute your mic? You can mute your mic, Phil, to bounce... Fart, snort, sneeze, cough, whatever it is that you do. No one wants to hear this disgusting noises coming from you. Think, uh, that's what we're going to have to do. All right? <clears throat> ah! <laughs> that's what we're doing this week. I hope that sounds good. Thank you to everyone who, uh... Is going to check out all the content. Hopefully the rebalancing of the schedule a little bit. Bringing back Baldur's Gate on Monday instead of so much Final Fantasy 7. We'll do a little better. Ho I thought you were actually excited for Final Fantasy 7. Now you just don't want to do it anymore. Just send it to the banned world like you do to all the other games that you don't want to play anymore. Hopefully that makes sense because we don't nearly need to be rushing Final Fantasy 7 as much. If I'm not going to be doing Dragon's Dogma 2 at launch. But then again though Phil you are taking your sweet ass time with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. And look how well that's doing. Epic Kirk Rebrush tipped me a dollar. He says, I'm watching your Final Fantasy VII video on demand. It's strange. People are talking about me and saying falsehoods. They're saying I'm in chat. I haven't been in chat for weeks. Are you are, are you believing these lying people? Listen. Oh my god. Fuck off, Kirk. And most of the time that you're saying that all these people are doing that and they're impersonating you, that's you doing it, Kirk. Shut the fuck up. Listen, I don't know. Uh, the, the truth is there's been people in chat who are saying stuff and people are saying, oh, that's Kirk. Oh, that's Kirk. Like, I don't care if it's Kirk or not. Like oh, yes, you fucking do. Because every single time you see Kirk doing it, you have to pull him to the side and smack his hand with a ruler. It's like, don't do it again. And you keep constantly getting mad at him for it. And you want to ban him, but he keeps giving you money so you can unban him every time. I don't give a shit, you know? Yeah, I don't give a shit, even though he has said really Really, really, really disgusting shit. The rules are the rules. 
<clears throat> no one is immune to the rules. Yeah, no one is immune to the rules except for the people that you have in your little circle jerk circle where you can give them special privileges and they can do whatever the fuck they want. But if they step out of line just a little bit, you say, oh, no, 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 slap on the wrist. You can just do whatever you want. Just don't put it in my chat. And every single time, it's going to keep constantly going and going and going. And to the point where people come to you to complain, you ban those people instead of the main people that they're complaining about. So if someone comes into the chat and they're saying stuff that can be construed as racist or whatever, they get re removed. Yet Kirk was never fucking removed. Instead, you gave him a stern talking to. All right. So <clears throat> Kirk is saying, oh, that wasn't me. Listen, I, you know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but I, it doesn't really matter. You only give him the benefit of the doubt because he's a regular and he gives you money. But if anyone else comes in there, says one little thing, and it's not even racist at all, you ban them outright because you're Dark Side Phil. You have to protect all the fucked up people in your own fucking circle. Whoever it is in the chat doing it, it's not someone whose name says Kirk. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. Like who, Phil? Vietnamese comrade? It's people coming in and and saying stuff that you know is not allowed. And I think people at this point, sadly, are just associating that with Kirk because he did it a lot, you know, when he was in chat or whatever. And he's still doing it, Phil. And yet you're still defending him. Um, He's saying it's not him. He's basically saying these are people impersonating him on purpose, okay? You're taking him for his actual word when rally people have come to you complaining about it. Same thing with Derek with his spamming. People have come to you complaining and you do nothing. You say, oh yeah, just ignore it. Just mute them. They'll go away. Just ignore them. But they're still going to keep coming back and ruining your streams. You want to blame the trolls for doing it, where in reality, it's the people that you defend that bring the stream down. Well, if we see it, we'll just remove it. It's that simple. And yeah, if that gets removed, then Kirk will give you money to be unbanned. And uh, it's not going to affect me talking to Kirk in a tip anyway. So there you go. Why is that, Phil? Is it because that he gave you money? Sarah tipped me a dollar, says, Yesterday you did seem very much on edge. You were concerned about support. Hopefully today you can be more focused on enjoying the game. I told you, like, yesterday I was already on edge. Like I was already on edge because I got this stupid little wig. I mean, a fan donated me this wig and I wanted to wear it for y'all, but y'all didn't want that. <laughs> my schedule was messed up because I had to get up early to do my stream early. Oh, who fucking who? Who cares, Phil? If you worked an actual job and you had to go in an hour early... You would have to do it, otherwise they would fire your ass for being late. And you're that type of guy that would just go straight to your boss and be like, But that's unfair! That's unfair! Where? <laughs> Boo fucking who? This is just first world problems with Dark Side Phil! Because I had personal stressful stuff going on behind the scenes, and then on top of that, it's a big new release day, and obviously you saw what happened with the support, so it was like just everything compounding at once. Uh-huh, and yet, what are these things that are personal? Oh, right, if I ask, or anyone asks, then you tell me to shut the fuck up and stop asking about it. But yet, you're gonna keep saying, premiere day, whoop de fucking do It's just a normal fucking day for anyone else that streams. And the low support, again, it's a you problem, not everybody problem. Yeah, I'm a human, and it sucks. I, I wish I was immune to that, right? Yeah, stop saying that. You're only human after all. And don't put the blame on you, but everyone's going to put the blame on you. I wish that I was a bigger streamer to the point where it doesn't matter that you have a slow release day. Oh my god, that ear twitch when he said that shit. It's like, Phil, you had the potential to be that. But the problem is you. Your attitude towards everybody and everything. That's the reason why you're not as big as someone like Markiplier, Maximilian Dude, or even PewDiePie for that matter. You're never going to be that big because of what you did. But you don't want to take accountability for the shit that you did. You want to put the blame on someone else. But it, I'm not. Like, I'm hurting right now. Badly because of the gifted membership thing. See? He's putting the blame on the trolls with that. With the gifted memberships? Trolls. So... It's like just compounding everything on top of it and making everything worse. And uh, yeah, I know yesterday I was really stressed out. I felt awful too. Like I felt like shit all day. Well, you only felt like shit because nobody was giving you money because you had that withdrawals from the <clears throat> WWE champions. I felt all tired and just just beaten and worn and stressed. And yeah, those are you have no idea how any of that truly feels, Phil. You've never been stressed. You've never been beaten down. You've never been worn out of anything. But yet, you want to play the victim and use those words to make people give you money. 
It's a tactic that you like to use to manipulate your audience into believing that you deserve all the good in life, but you're getting punched down by everyone else. And yet you don't understand why nice people like you finish last or don't get any good things in life. When in reality, you're never a nice person. You're just an asshole. Terrible. Today I feel much better. I got a much better rest tonight um, or last night and I'm in, I'm fully you know, geared up today for a better day. I'm feeling more positive today. Yeah, you're feeling more positive today. I wonder why you're feeling more positive today. Oh yeah, this is why. <laughs> Leave it up to Phil to spread his copium around while he tries to pay explain why he didn't do well on his first day of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Blaming the audience, blaming the game, blaming the developers, and blaming detractors all in one go. And also YouTube to boot. So five things that he blamed all throughout why he is not having a good time with it. It's like, Phil, quit deluding yourself to believing that all the shit that you're saying is true, when in reality, it's not. But you just want to keep going on saying that you want to create entertaining content, that you love RPGs, but throughout the mass amounts of delusional copium that you're spewing, it just comes across as something completely the opposite. And then more and more, you want to keep going about how you're taking a dip of your income, yet again, keep bringing this up, I don't know why he does it, and he wants to blame it on trolls yet again, and then wants to defend Kirk out of all of this as well. Like Phil, quit defending people that do really shitty things to your chat, and also, Quit. Just fucking quit. Stop deluding yourself into believing that everyone else is at fault when it's all on you. You're the problem of why everything sucks. And the reason why Kirk is still around is because you allow him to be there. Because he gives you money. If you just cut ties with Kirk, maybe it might be a little bit better. But that's just putting hope into something that it will never fucking happen. But I, I digress with all this. But we're going to end it off with a full prayer because oh I got a massive headache from all this shit. Deliver us from the dents, deliver us from the pay pigs, deliver us from the pegnosis. May we never become dented. May we never become a beggar like Darkseid Phil. Just for the love of God, if you have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, play the game, enjoy it. You'll have a great time out of it, more than Phil would. Except for him wearing that fucking wig that just makes him look incredibly fucking stupid. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a good rest of y'all's day, rest of y'all's night. Keep it really beautiful, people. I'll see y'all in the next one.